Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the woman of their dreams by teaching them how to approach a woman with confidence. Now, gentlemen, today's video is about the three stages of finding and securing the woman of your dreams. Stage one is you haven't found her yet. You know that she's out there. You've been thinking about her. You've been dreaming about her. You know she's out there, but you just haven't found her yet. Stage two is where you think you've found her. She may be one of your neighbors. She may be somebody that works with you. She may be a friend of a friend, but you haven't got up the mustard and the courage to go approach her and ask her out on the date. And then stage three is where uh, you've lost her. She was the woman of your dreams, but maybe you blew it and you lost her. How do you get her back? So guys, let me give you a quick overview of those three stages and how you can approach and secure the woman of your dreams. Stage one, you haven't found her yet. Well, guys, as I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, according to the Pew Institute of Research, who did a huge study on online dating, 78% of all the women that replied to this survey said they would never use an online dating site. Now, online dating is a great way to meet women, but that's not the biggest pool, guys. It's not the biggest pond where most of the women are. Most of them, we're going to have to approach organically. So tips for online dating and tips for organic dating. Pretty simple. Online dating, be truthful, have updated pictures, put some decent clothes on, at least make sure they're clean and somewhat wrinkle free. Get your hair in tune, smile in all your pictures for online dating. Write up a nice description. If you can, have a friend do it for you. Because oftentimes people see us differently than we see ourselves. And then when messaging women, always ask a question about them. Gosh, it looks like you're very happy in their photos. Wow, it looks like you love the outdoors in your photos. Hey, I noticed that you were riding your bike in one of the photos. How often do you cycle? Ask them questions about themselves. Now, meeting a woman organically, it's a little bit more tricky because we only have one chance to make a first impression. But as I've mentioned in other videos, lower those expectations. And again, ask them a question about themselves or let them know that you're intrigued to learn more about them. And ask them out on a, just a coffee date. It's pretty innocent just to go to a Starbucks or a Pete's or any other coffee house out there and sit down for 20 minutes and get to know each other. And use that line, guys. I'd love to get to know more about you. Would you have a cup of coffee with me? She'll either say yes or no. And don't get nervous and anxious over this, guys. If we lower our expectations and allow her to say no, she just may say yes. So that's stage one, guys. Stage one is where we haven't found her yet. We're still in search of. We need to put ourselves out there. You're not gonna find her sitting in front of the TV or reading a book or mowing the lawn. Stage two, you think you found her and you're afraid, you're even anxious or even scared to approach her. Well, guys, when we lower that expectation, our fear level lowers with it and our confidence level comes up higher. You think you found her, but you're not sure. Maybe you're infatuated with her. Maybe she's just a freaking doll and just gorgeous. Just approach her calmly. Approach her as though you're a friend asking a friend out for coffee. Let's go chat at the coffee shop. Okay, nothing, nothing too, too spontaneous. Don't say dinner and a movie. That's a little bit too much for most men. Just say, let's go have coffee sometime and get to know each other. Okay, three, this is the hard one, guys. You've lost her. Oh, you screwed up. You did something wrong. Well, guys, if it's cheating that you screwed up, yeah, there's probably not a huge, huge opportunity to win her back. But if you've lost her because you did something stupid, and believe me, I do stupid things all the time. My wife is probably mad at me 50% of the time. But that's just a relationship. Take responsibility. Tell her it's your fault, you screwed up, and you'd like to find out how you can make it up to her. 
Yes, she's probably still thinking about you. She's probably going, oh, man, I wish Patrick didn't screw up. I loved him so much. Say the same things back to her. Honey, I screwed up. I love you so much. I wish you would give me another chance. Now, gentlemen, <clears throat> with each stage of the three stages of finding the woman of your dreams, there's tactics and strategies that we can take that will get us closer to finding the woman of your dreams. Now, in the description below is a short online course that I made for each stage, for stage one, stage two, and stage three of finding the woman of your dreams. Go ahead and click on that link. Before you do that, click on my subscribe button. So that way you can get the free content of my videos and really hone your skills on finding the women of your dreams. But go ahead and click on the link below to find which stage you're on, one, two, or three, and click on that stage so that you can learn more and get some free training on how to find the women of your dreams. Thanks for tuning in, gentlemen. I'll see you in the next video.